Let's now take a look at what made headlines in India over the weekend. Some of those headlines made India proud. Others were simply heartbreaking. This one is from the South Indian city of Bengaluru. Have a look at this man. His name is Vaishnav. He is an engineering graduate. For the last two years, he had been living with his partner Devi in a rented apartment in Bengaluru. Both hailed from Kerala, had studied together in college. But in recent months, reports say the relationship between the two had started to sour. Their neighbours tell say that both had regular fights and Devi had apparently started to get closer with another man. And this had irked Vaishnav. He suspected Devi of infidelity. Both had a heated argument and Vaishnav reportedly lost his temper. In a fit of rage, you know what he did? He repeatedly hit Devi's uh, he repeatedly hit Devi with a pressure cooker. Devi died and Vaishnav fled the scene but soon was arrested. And then there is this disturbing case of casteism from Madhya Pradesh. A teenage boy belonging to the scheduled caste Dalit was uh, reportedly beaten to death by a mob of hundreds. His sister was also beaten and when his mother tried to save him, the attacker stripped her naked. The mob had also ransacked and vandalized the victim's home. The cops finally arrived at the scene. They handed the victim's mother a towel until she got her sari back. The situation remains tense in the village. Police has been deployed there. But the question is, what led to all of this? Back in 2019, the murdered teen sister had filed a sexual harassment case. She had accused four men of threatening and beating her up. All four were arrested in the case that is now in the court. The sister alleged that some people were pressuring her to withdraw her case and when she did not, her family was attacked. And speaking of violence against Dalits, another incident happened over the weekend itself. This one is from Maharashtra. You might find these visuals disturbing. Four Dalits were attacked on suspicion of stealing goats and pigeons. Two of the victims were minors. They were reportedly tied upside down to a tree, urinated and spat on, even forced to lick shoes on which their attackers had spat. Moving on, a 14-year-old boy reportedly killed his 15-year-old sister with an axe in Uttar Pradesh. You heard that right. A teen killed his sister brutally with an axe. Their elder brother, mother and father were also involved. Why was the 15-year-old murdered by her own family? Reports say the girl was talking to a Dalit youth over the phone. She was also in a relationship with him. Her family had opposed it even sent her out of town to stop her from meeting the boy. On Friday night, her brother claimed she was on a call with the Dalit boy. The family members questioned the girl. She denied ha having any cell phone with her. Her mother soon started searching her clothes and she found the cell phone. The family members then tied the girl up and started beating her up. Reports say her brothers hit her with an axe and a hammer. The poor girl died and the next morning, the youngest son went to the police station and surrendered. You see, all of these incidents took place over the weekend in India. And as all of these atrocities unfolded, there was also something that made Indians proud, supremely proud. Neera Chopra achieved something that no other Indian has before. He became the first Indian to clinch a gold medal at the World Athletics Championship. In Budapest, he showcased a commanding javelin throw of 88.17 meters. When asked what motivated him, Neera Chopra responded by saying, throwers don't have a finish line. Praise poured in for Chopra on social media, not only for his historic victory, but also for his inspiring words. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also congratulated Chopra. His family was seen in rejoicing after that big victory, of course. Now, this is the India we are proud of. 
not the one I told you about earlier. This same weekend, India made history with its first gold at the World Athletics Championship. But at the same time, violent crimes, the ones that make you shudder, were taking place in the country. This is the pride and tragedy of a complex India. While we celebrate the victories, there are also things that we need to work on. Things we cannot turn a blind eye towards. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.